Hello everyone and welcome to Dream Crypto Mining. I hope you all have a great day today. And today I want to try out some comparison between the new NB miner 39.6 and T-Rex 24.5 on unlocking the hash rate on Ethereum. And what you can see is my iOS version. I did update my driver last week, so it should be the new ones. I have three 3060 cards. <clears throat> Sorry, that's right now it's running on stock. And we can also jump over to the miner, as you can see there. It has run for just a couple of minutes. And we can jump over to the egg, also check the efficiency. And it's, this is on stock, also on T-Rex, and you can see here it's pumped down to 71. You can check some efficiency here also. It's a little lower. We go back to iOS. So I will put in some overclocks on every card, and I will restart the miner. And after that, I will be back, so you don't have to wait for the miner to tune in. So you can maybe see some different, or it's maybe pretty equal. I will do minus 502 and 2600 on the memory, and 105 on the power limit. So. The overclock is in, so I will restart the miner, I will zoom it back, and so now I'm back. And you can see, it's not still been running like, like 2 minutes, and you already can see that the hash rate has gone up, and some difference on hash rate. This is the NB miner ones, and this is the T-Rex NB miner is using the unlock for 74 and the T-Rex is using the 73 percent unlock. I will jump over to the miner so you can see there. So this is the NB miner. You see there? You can't see here how much it's using the unlock but it, in the beginning it says uh, 74 and the efficiency is pretty good, it's not bad. When we did first get the 3060 version 1 card, and it was unlocked with the developer driver in Windows, we did get around between 47 and 50. And when uh, they did the uh, unlock for the Linux version, like I was, we was up to like 38, if I remember right, on the version 1 card. So we are not so far behind right now. We can also jump over to the T-Rex. And here we can see it's using low hash rate, 73%. Still, it's not bad. The difference from the older version and now is pretty, pretty big. They have done a, a lot of improvements. That's my opinion. But yeah, they are doing great, these minor devs. So, we can go back to iOS. I will try also a core unlock. Yeah, 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 sorry. Core clock. On the overclocks. So you say 5045. I had a locked core clock, I mean. Sorry. And I will take that away. And I will do it on all cards. Did miss that. And I will do the same again. I will restart the miner. And I will be back in like two minutes then. So, hold on. And so we are back again. And you can see it's running for like four minutes. And already now you can see we get 
a little higher hash rate on the cards. Not real on the T-Rex. Minor the T-Rex might did not like my absolute core clocks. You can also see that they are pumping up the power limit a little more. And this, uh, okay, the power limit will fluctuate some. It can go up and down. You can see it's here is 102 and 111. If I just do an update, you can see it's changing. So it's jumping a little one, little up and down, back and forward. And if you check the miner, you can see a little more hash rate. The power limit's going a little, little up and down. So the efficiency will go little up and down. But in overall, it looks pretty good, my opinion. And we can jump over to the T-Rex. And here you can see it did not really like my absolute core clock. It pumped it down from 73 to 72. But still, it's not bad. They have done a really good job, these minor devs, to get us this unlock. And you can see also it's moving a little. Power limit and the hash rate. I can say, I, in my opinion, it's moving more up and down on the hash rate and the power limit on the T-Rex miner than it does on the NB miner. But maybe it's just a coincidence or they have find something more on the NB miner that can make it a little more stable. But yeah, overall it looks good. You can see here it's a little difference between the T-Rex miner and the NB miner. Not a big one, but it is. So, this was my little comparison between the two miners. It's now detailed comparison, but you can see some difference in it. And I hope it helped you something. And until next time, I hope you have a great day. And see you around. Bye bye.